only took a fucking year. So I met the doctors the other day, you know, I was, you know no fucker speaks to each other in the waiting room, I'm just sat there. There's a pregnant woman next to me. I went, hello. She went, I had chills. I said, what do you hope it is then? She said, me husband's. Some woman in the paper this morning, she's 56, she's given birth to twins. Fucking, she'll be able to go to the post office and get a pension and a maintenance at the same fucking time. <laughs> Did you vote? Eh? We've got Tony Blair again for another five fucking years. <laughs> eh? Fucking asshole. Well, look when the petrol strike goes on. What did you say? There's light at the end of the tunnel. Tony, it's a cunt on a bike. <laughs> Came along the year 66. Have you must have seen them signs. There's a little paint of a kid on it. He goes, My daddy works here, so drive carefully. And then you drive for five miles, bollards, and all you see is a wheelbarrow with half a fucking shovel in it. <laughs> if I see that kid, I'm going to kick him right in the fucking bollocks. <laughs> Ah, the world we live in now, isn't it, eh? Somebody can go out and shoot John Lennon and let fucking Des O'Connor live. <laughs> He's all the rage now, isn't he? The big fat Italian fucking slabber body. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> this part of the show, boys and girls, I'm going to introduce you to the piano. Piano audience. Audience, that's a fucking piano. <laughs> I'm going to do a classical piece of music. It's called Start in the Car by Handel. <laughs> Anybody from the Racial Discrimination Board? I don't play the fucking black notes as well, you know. <laughs> no, it's all right in that free trade pub. Hey, we had a good laugh there last night. A fucking crab walked in. The barman went, hey, 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 out. Fuck off. Why? He said, because all day yes you were in here, fucking giving it that. <laughs> uh, you'll get it later. <laughs> Call it the chemist shop, you know what I mean? Near the potteries. I went in, I said, have you anything for hiccups? Bloke turned his back on me, got a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you doing? <laughs> you haven't got hiccups now? I said, no, but the wife has, she sat in a taxi car. <laughs> Maintain the funniest thing in the world is two drunks talking. You mark my words, New Year's Eve. Oh! <laughs> See you, look at you! <laughs> See you, look at you! Look at you! And the other one will say, I know! a lot of TV, like you do, you know, like, have you got the TV in a breakfast shop? Isn't it funny, every time you sit down to have a meal, you add them, whatever it is, egg and chips, pie and chips, you sit down to have a meal, something comes on the TV, they're either dissecting a frog, separating Siamese twins, a fucking tampon advert, <laughs> and body form for you. You feel like shouting, fuck off, you bleeding cunt. <laughs> Am I looking old? I passed the cemetery this morning and these two cheeky bastards chased me with shovels. <laughs> <laughs> these two ruffians are in the forest like one of them said, you look at that butterfly. Kill the cunt. <laughs> I like the forest, don't you? Kick all the fucking heads off the flowers. <laughs> what would you do if a bird shit on your head? He said, I'd pack her in. <laughs> No doubt, the other day the bloke who invented paracetamol couldn't get the fucking lid off his coffin. <laughs> he died the Okie Koga champion, took three hours to bury him. They put his left leg in, his fucking right leg come out. 